The ground surface of Campi Flegre has been rising by 0.4 to 8 inches per year. This inflation rate is lower than what was observed during the last three periods of unrest, but this has been the case for almost two decades. Volcanologists began to wonder what would happen if the Earth's crust stretched beyond its breaking point. There has also been an increase in the frequency and intensity of earthquakes in the region since the summer. The numbers have decreased in recent weeks, but large earthquakes still rock the region. In June, a group of scientists published a paper trying to decode the behavior of volcanoes over the past 70 years. If this interpretation of the research is correct, it could also explain what is happening today. According to them, this is what is happening, at a depth of 5 to 6 miles, there is a reservoir of magma that is constantly emitting dangerous gases. Some of the gas is trapped in layers of rock about 2 miles below the surface, and some escapes from small volcanic vents in places like the foul-smelling Solfatara crater. The researchers hypothesize that, in the 1950s, a collection of magma intruded near the rock barrier, cracking it slightly and lifting the Earth's crust. Once the magma cools and additional gas escapes to the surface, uplift stops and the ground subsides although it never returns to levels measured before uplift. The team believes the same process occurred again in the 1970s and 1980s. By the time of the riots in the 1980s, repeated cracking of the Earth's crust had created new pathways for trapped gas to escape, leading to significant subsidence of the land surface over the subsequent period. Many of the fractures have healed. The last three injections of magma have cooled and solidified, creating a magma seal, which is also a barrier to the escape of gas. But gas continues to escape from the deep magma reservoir, and most of it has accumulated again in the rocky barrier about two miles below, causing the ground to expand. Magmatic gas rising from below and being trapped is enough to explain the uplift that has occurred since 2005 and the recent and sometimes powerful earthquakes may originate from aggressive coalescence of newly formed cracks. If improvement continues, eventually something will make an impact. If a large enough crack reaches the surface, there are three possible outcomes. The first, and most likely, is volcanic gas being released over a wide area without causing harm. Alternatively, the fire may occur in a concentrated zone, in which case there may be multiple explosions, locally. The least likely scenario is the most concerning. A shallow intrusion of magma connects with the crack and quickly erupts to the surface, perhaps without warning. It has been suggested that the current uplift and earthquake may have been caused by magma injection at shallow depths, but measurements of the volcano's gravitational field show no major magmatic attacks have occurred in recent months. Campi Flegre is one of the most closely monitored volcanoes in the world. Soil deformation, gas output, thermal readings, gravity fields and vibrations are carefully and continuously researched. The behavior of other volcanoes can help scientists interpret this data, but the interpretation is never ambiguous, especially for volcanoes that have never experienced an eruption at that time. As Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology recently concluded, the likelihood of a volcanic eruption is relatively low, as there is no evidence of rising magma to the surface. But the report adds that the volcano is undergoing a natural evolution that cannot be stopped and, sooner or later, it will erupt again. 